Oh. oh my god, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, this is a tank. What is up, guys, and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D, and today we got a special guest on the channel. What's What's my cousin Lionel James, who you guys hear me talk about all the time. He's got us hooked up with some Bolt Bites by YOLO. We're gonna do a little riding around, go hit some ponds, some bass ponds, and uh, I think the conditions are perfect for big bass energy. So, I want you guys to hang out, grab a seat, grab a drink, and we're gonna go fishing. And I got some special news for you guys, so stick around, and let's go catch some fish. Go! Let's go. All right, guys. Lionel just gave me the rundown on this bike and uh, how it works, but literally, this is an electric-powered bike, and uh, yeah. It, it basically just propels you forward like a motorcycle would. So I'm used to uh, motorsports and things, but we got to get used to this bike. So, all right, right now I don't feel anything. Plus one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Now we're cruising. Now, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Okay, let's go. look at him, he's excited. All right, that's what's up. That bike can get up to like 22 miles an hour. So the higher you go- Dang, that's crazy. The higher you go on this lever, the higher you want to go on this. So if you're starting off, you want to start the gear in the three and then kick it up as you get comfortable and stuff like that. Okay. Too. So just like riding a bike, man. Um, and as you're pedaling, the electric will always be there. Once you stop, it stops. Okay. So, yo, we're going to go try not to get kicked out. We're going to have some fun. All right, so we're going to go hit some ponds and uh, you guys wish us luck. You guys stay tuned and let's go catch some fish. Let's go. <laughs> this is dope. Whoa. Good old golf course ponds. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the first pond right here. We're gonna hit this bad boy. Hopefully we can pull out something nice for you guys. And I was telling Lionel earlier, these are the perfect conditions for big bass energy. I think we're gonna catch something big and you guys are gonna be here to witness it. So let's go, let's Yo, see if we can do get Do me a favor, that. vote one for the most handsome person me, <laughs> and vote two for the most handsome person me. <laughs> Holla at your boy, cuz I'm- One or two, <laughs> who you got? Let's go. All right, as you guys can see, I don't know how to not bring the whole tackle box and the whole tackle shop with me. So I got a bunch of stuff with me. I think the first thing I'm gonna go with is it's really cool because this thing's got a whole rack on it that I can bring everything. But I think the first thing I want to throw is maybe a spinner bait or something. Yeah, let's throw a spinner bait. All right, guys, I tried to give Lionel the benefit of the doubt so he can go ahead and start fishing, but he decided to wait on me. Big mistake. Anyways, so first thing I'm going to be fishing with is this white spinner bait right here. We got a little bit of wind on the water and we got overcast guys. It's about to be a good day. First cast right here. Let's go. Got a little dead grass on the top right here. Make that same cast twice. This time I'm gonna retrieve it just a little bit slower. Water's a little bit stained. Actually, it's a lot of bit stained, but all right. I think those bass will use that little cover right there as an ambush point. First, we gotta see if they're chewing. I like this little corner. I like this little mat right here. Should probably put a frog on top of that. Oh. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Dude, this is a tank. This is a tank. This is a tank. This is a tank. It's a tank. It's a tank. Let's go. All right. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Jeez. Let's go. Oh my word, dude. I told you, bro. What is happening? What's going on? Oh my goodness. That's a solid two and a half, three pounder right there. It's on the spinner bait. 
I told you, yes, man. Sir. I told you. What a fish. You guys, yeah. look at this bass right here. That's a solid three pounder. Now that I'm holding it, holy yeah, crap. Fish, bro, what? I'm on the camera. He's on the camera. Let's go. I'm bro. Closer to this thing. Okay. It's nice fish. Just hold him right there. Dude, that fish smashed it. I'm talking smashed it. Nice fish, bro. Oh, yeah. Nice fish, man. So, listen, guys, I told you this is the perfect conditions for a big bass. That was like the third cast, guys. So, I'm trying to tell you guys, man, this is about to be an awesome day. Hey, thanks, girl. Watch this, guys. Mwah. I appreciate you for participating. Ah, yes. And she's gone. She's gone just like that. God's been good to us. Let's We're go. going to keep it rolling, baby. Let's go. Big bass energy. Ah, are you kidding me, dude? The third cast? Third cast. No, just kind of right there off of the grass a little bit. And I mean, he loaded up on it. Jeez. That's what I'm talking about. Something about bass fishing, man, it just gets me excited. For some reason, bass fishing just gets me excited. And Lionel and I, Lionel's father is my mom's brother. So we are actually blood cousins. And uh, we grew up together, fishing together, getting into trouble together, fighting. We, we did it all. Oh, there's my first back cast. All right. All right, threw my first backlash and uh, had to reset a little bit right there. How dope was that first catch, man? All right, guys, so when you're walking these banks, you kind of want to cast parallel to the bank. That way your, your bait is in the strike zone longer. So what I mean by that is if you're casting and you cast straight out, then you're just casting straight out and bringing that bait in your strike zone is going to be mostly along the banks so if you cast parallel to the bank right then you bring that bait more along the bank and those fish like i said are going to be hanging out closer to the banks most of the time because that's their ambush point is pushing fish up against the banks and then feeding from the banks so if you can keep that bait in the strike zone longer the more your chances are going to be of getting hooked up with a fish so Casting parallel. See if we can't make something happen. Now, most of the time, I start out with a frog, especially if there's like a grass mat like this right here. This is like great to be fishing a frog. But so we got like this this mossy grass stuff right here. All right, so that's something we got to deal with, but not a huge problem. Just got to clear our bait off and make sure it's nice and clean for that big mama. Fat Sally. All right, guys. So today's sponsor is Waterland Sunglasses. These are the new sponsor of the channel. If you guys want to get hooked up on some great sunglasses, be sure to check out Waterland. Save yourself 15% if you use the code vitamin D15 at checkout. So be sure to go over and check out Waterland Sunglasses. I think they're a great company to be working with i feel privileged to be teaming up with these guys they work with a lot of great youtubers that i've been watching for years and i never expected to be sponsored by them these guys are going to be in competition with costa del mar bahia and some other big brands that uh, i've been known to wear myself and now i am actually partnered up with a big company so i can't be more excited i can't say it enough Knox, I appreciate you for reaching out. And uh, hey, here we are. <laughs> Living the dream, baby. Let's see if we can't get you guys on some more fish. Let's go. Y'all remember, don't take me fishing because I bring all the whole freaking, I bring everything with me. I don't know how not to bring everything. But it's for a good cause. Anyways, the first hole, I'd call that a success. We got a nice fish out of there. Me and Lionel, we're gonna pack up and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get on some more fish. We're gonna hit another pond. Y'all stay tuned and let's ride. Yeah. 
Yo, you ever seen that movie Biker Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Biker Boys. Is that us? Bro, this is so dope. I just barely kicked and we're going. We out here, baby. <laughs> it's so funny because like some of the golfers, they really don't care. And a lot of the guy golfers, the men, they just want to know what you're catching. You know, there's people who get mad about the situation. They don't want to see you get hit by a golf ball. Then there's others who they're like, heck yeah, go fish them, man. Fish them hard. All these guys play golf, but they don't know how to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel's just telling me this little pocket right here is a good spot to uh, catch some fish at. And he's like, you want to go over there? Is that a real question? All right, guys, so as you can see, we have changed locations. That last spot started getting a little bit busy with the golfers. We ain't but, trying to get kicked out. Right? <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to get in trouble. We're not trying to get kicked out of anywhere. But we have moved over here to Baytown. You guys may be familiar with Baytown. Uh, there's a lot of little ponds and lakes around this area. And I think we'll be able to fish a little more freely over here without getting in any trouble. So you guys stay tuned. Let's see if we can't get on some fish for you guys. You see it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just go straight across the street to that first one in that corner. And just kind of, we can walk that whole thing. All right. Yo, these bikes are so dope. It's like you just, you, you don't even have to do anything, really. The power, you can adjust your power here and it just takes off for you. Only thing you got to worry about is getting run over. <laughs> All right, they're just not feeding up top, so we're going to switch it up. Always want to keep switching it up because bass, man, they're really uh, they're really picky sometimes. So we're going to switch it up. All right, guys, I switched it up. I'm using this Zoom Ultra Vibe black and red glitter trick worm. This is actually a speed worm. You can see it's got that tail on it. So you can you can fish this bait in numerous ways, all right? You can cast this guy and you can run it straight across the top of the water and he will like make little bubbles like that, like it's a bait fish scurrying away from a fish. Or you can fish it slow and you can let it sink. Um, there's numerous ways you can fish this bait. But I decided to go with a soft plastic because those fish are not feeding up top. So we're gonna slow it down and see if we can't get us a few more bites here. Dude, I might come out here and go running sometime. Good, bro. Tell me going to Baytown. And... Right. There he is. It it's just a little it's just a little dink but still a fish <laughs> there we go man he was in the mud look at how dirty he is sometimes those fish man when it gets chilly out they hang out down bottom <laughs> a little squeaker Let's, yeah, let's get him back. All right, guys, another little bass. Let's keep the party rolling. There we go. Oh, nice fish, oh yeah. Boom. All right, just straighten our worm back out. As you guys can see, I'm using this black and red uh, speed worm, like I said. And I have it rigged Texas rig style. So it's weightless. There's no weight on there. And basically we're just casting this guy out, letting it sink. I'm fishing it really slow because the fish kind of seem, you know, they're, they're just kind of feeding slow right now. So we're not making them work too hard. They don't want to come up and chase a bait. So put on the little soft plastic and then just work that guy really slow. 
and feed if they want to. But I am fishing with my Shimano SLX, and this is the 150 HG. Nice little reel. It doesn't have the electronic brakes, so this is more of a budget setup. But I do have it paired up with this nice favorite Defender rod, and that's a seven foot medium heavy rod with a fast action. I love this rod. You can really whip some baits with it if you want to. And it also has a little bit of backbone in case you hook something nice. Oh, look at Lionel's on. Lionel's on down there. They might be turning on. Let's we'll see what this guy's got going on over here. I got a baby. Yo. There he is. I got a baby. Hey. Yo, he's not even as big as my arm. It yo. counts. Listen, that's two to one. It yo, counts. I love the camera, man. Like, let's go. It counts. All right, guys. So he's keeping count. So right now it's two to one. I guess we'll count that one even though it's it's tiny. But <laughs> a fish is a fish, and uh, we're having fun. Let's get back out there. All right. So, so no skunk for Lionel. <laughs> no skunk gonna cast around this these tunnels right here there's got to be a fish over there and try to clear that up I got a fish on oh I just blocked him oh man I just blocked him I'm like, I'm like, I'm blocking any and all opponents. Hold on, like, hold on, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gosh, like the second cast with this jerk bait, and I got a decent bass on. What the heck? All right, I think he's barely hooked, so I got to play him right. This guy's putting up a good fight. Holy crap! Holy crap! All right, let's see if we can get this guy up. Oh my word, dude. Look at this tank. What in the world? All right, Rodney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call you right back, bro. I'm fishing yeah, and I just caught a freaking tank, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call you right back. Holy crap, guys. So I'm fishing and my buddy, he's like a brother to me. He calls me, he's in Las Vegas. And we're just talking, I'm just casually fishing, throwing this jerk bait. And this fish just came out of nowhere and smoked that bait. That's a nice little pound and a half, two pound fish right there. Nice, thick and girthy fish. Look at the shoulders on them. We're gonna get this fish unhooked and then we'll show you. Holy crap, dude, this fish is healthy. This thing is pretty big, dude. That's a healthy, healthy fish. About the same size as the one from this morning. Big old huge mouth on that guy. They don't call them largemouth bass for nothing. Let's get a nice release on this baby and let her go. My cousin's over at the other pond. We're gonna let this guy go. There you go, baby. She's gone. Holy crap. Dude, I was not expecting to catch a fish. I mean, the morning has been super slow. We've been fishing for hours. We've hit pond after pond after pond, and we just got us a nice bite. I just switched to that jerk bait. I'm gonna show you guys that bait. There it is, it's like a jerk shad. And uh, I was just casually casting that guy. I think that was like the second cast with that bait. Brand new bait, I've never thrown it. It's got a nice little rattle to it. Let's cast back out there and see if we can't get another one. Came and smoked it right at the bank. That was crazy. I just caught another one. Yeah. Yeah, nice thick one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is pretty much going to wrap up the day. We came out, hit some golf course ponds. Then we came over here to Baytown and hit some more ponds. And the fish just weren't feeding today for some reason. But we did get us a couple of nice bass. I want to say I caught four and Lionel ended up catching two. But we had a fun, fun trip hanging out with my cousin. I don't get to hang out with this guy enough. 
we are both busy, busy people and life takes us in our own different directions. But we are gonna try and fish together more. We're gonna try and hang out more now that I'm over on his side of town. And uh, man, I appreciate you showing me these bikes. These bikes are dope, man. I never rode one of these. If you guys ever get the chance to either rent something like this, I think it'd be really fun for you guys to try out. Electric bikes, man, technology is really taking us in a different direction, ain't it? It's like exercise, but not exercise. Yeah, it takes the exercise out of exercising. So again, shout out to Waterland, my new sponsor. I really appreciate it. You guys, listen, I couldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. So. Again, I appreciate you. And if you want to get hooked up with some nice gear, be sure to go check out waterlandco.com and use promo code vitamin D15. All right, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. All right, I'm vitamin D for vitamin D TV. And I'm out. Peace.